when you start, you're going live, okay? Yeah, got it. Take your time. Cheers. I looked at the information and thought, okay, if I just get the information, rattle it off, I'll be fine. I spent the majority of those five minutes warming up my voice. I will be totally honest. And I felt like I was ready to speak. I'm Joe Two, chilling at the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. Here we go with your Old Spice breaking news update. I thought, oh, I can pound all of this out. This is simple. This happened two hours after his complete game, three hit shutout at home against the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. I can put all this information out there to the masses, include my angle, Yankees are in big trouble, blah, 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 Twitter. Cab driver Jamal Franklin has been charged with reckless driving. Now, obviously, this is terrible news. I, I could tell that was not Joe Two's element. Like, Joe Two's usually like the interview guy. He's that nice vibe with you, cool guy. And you know the Twitterverse is blowing up. So if you want more analysis and what it means for the Yankees. And it kind of looked like Joe Two was just kind of like reading. Like, he had the card close to his face. He's kind of reading all the updates. I'm just Joe Two from Cooperstown, New York. O2 out. <laughs> All right, Derby champ, how you feeling? Doing good. So I went last. I looked at the script and I wanted to memorize it as, as best I could because I thought that looking at the camera, the least times you'd look at the paper would look better. This is Brett Consolvis with Sportsnet 360 in Cooperstown, New York with an Old Spice breaking news update. They wanted us to be clear and concise. They wanted us to connect with the audience. The injury occurred two hours after his complete game three hit shutout at home against the Tampa Bay Rays. I think I, I did a good job of not looking at the paper too much, but thinking about that too much prevented me from adding a little bit more excitement and a piece that I could have put in. For more analysis of the injury and what it means for the Yankees, we're gonna head over to Eric Smith and the guys from Blue Jays Express. Eric? And then after I finished it, Ferg said, do you want to do a second take? Now your second take, do you want it? And do it again, please. Yeah, I, I'm going to do my second take. I have it, I may as well use it. This is Brett Consolvis with Sportsnet 360. I think I corrected one word that I had flopped on in the previous take. The injury occurred two hours after his complete game three hit shutout at home. It wasn't a, I didn't think it was a, a substantial improvement because I, I didn't add in that extra bit. So I was bummed out. Congratulations, you all really manned up, if you will. So let's dive right into it. I'm gonna start with the bottom three. Andrew, you seemed a little bit frazzled when you came over here, a little bit, almost like you were too focused, and you actually forgot the Sportsnet mic over by your prepping station. Mm -hmm. And we gave you a second take, but in the real world, you would have went to air with no audio. So unfortunately, we had to put you in the bottom three. I understand. Brett. You actually had a very clean read, which was solid. You probably looked at your notes the least of anybody, but you lacked a little bit of personality and we just felt you were a little bit stiff. You also had the second take and I thought it was definitely a smart decision to use it. Unfortunately, we thought that your second take was pretty much the same as your first. And then rounding out our bottom three is Joseph O2. I was actually really surprised for the first time in this entire competition, you seemed a little bit nervous. Um, it's okay to have notes when you do something like that, but yours were actually in the shot. They were creeping up pretty close to your face, which made it look a little bit amateur. But let's get to the top three, okay? Let's get to the good stuff. Teddy. Yes. You actually had a really, really solid read and a very nice tone to your voice. Unfortunately, you repainted your sign off twice. I did, yeah. I know. Which leaves us with two, Anthony and Harrison. You guys made this a two horse race. You both separated yourselves from the group today. But we're gonna start with you, Harrison. I felt like your energy in front of the camera was fantastic. You were relaxed, but you weren't too laid back. It was the perfect tone for the story that you were delivering. Awesome. We also really liked your Twitter angle. We thought it was amazing that you threw it out to your audience, very much the way Donovan Bennett does on Blue Jays Express. That said, you didn't give an opinion and we were kind of left wanting okay. a little bit more. Anthony. You also were very calm, cool, and collected during this assignment. Your content was on point because you actually talked about the Yankees' season and the injuries that they've had to deal with and how this one would further affect their chances of making the postseason. And we thought that was really, really well done. Thank you. That said, 
we felt like your energy off the top didn't fit the circumstance. You almost seemed excited to announce that CC had been <laughs> hit by a cab, which doesn't really fit the tone of the story. But there can only be one winner. And the winner of the Old Spice Man Up breaking news update is Harrison. Congratulations. Yes. I'm back. And it was like from from down here to back to prominence, you know? I was I felt good. And I got to go into the Hall of Fame. I got to go in. I got to go in and no one else did, man. Like, I got to go in. Over the moon right now. I, eight year old me is freaking out. And he is high five. My dad would have kicked my ass if I didn't get in there. So I'm glad I, I got to make him proud because he's the one who introduced me to my love of baseball because of his. So I pitched my thoughts to Jackie and we figured out the, the details. And we did the co-hosting game. If you could only put one of those four names that you mentioned into the Hall of Fame, who would you put in? Greg Maddox, 100%. Why? He was the best pitcher in his time. Plain I'm not going to argue with a guy in a bow tie. I felt like we were comfortable. We had we had chemistry. Wow. Well, she'd probably be well, in there, but I don't know. Well, I mean, it, you you never know with these guys. They're, they're... We did really well together. We played off of each other. I'm Harrison Bordeaux for Sportsnet 360. It was good, man. I was like, I was, I was in the zone. Okay, so it's nighttime. Harrison comes out of the Hall of Fame with Jackie. I didn't really know how he did. I didn't even really ask him. But uh, so then Jackie and Maddie pull us under the lights on the sidewalk. So guys, I just wanted to say an amazing day in Cooperstown. Yeah. But as you can see, it's getting a bit dark out, so we got to hit the road because we're off to Boston. Oh, 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 however, oh, 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 however. And Maddie gives us four words. Jeremy, Ronick, Daniel, Negranu. And everyone just freaks out. Oh, oh my god. And I was like, best day ever. Like, best, best day ever. Next time on Gillette Drafted. Five minutes, one on one interviews with Jeremy Ronick, Daniel Negranu. And I walk in and I look around, he's not there. No, he's not. Here's the deal, I have him on the phone. It's a phone interview. You're talking about your mom earlier. I mean, what did she think about the whole thing? Wow, this changes everything. Well, I basically answered that question already, but I'll answer it again for you. This changes everything. Sorry to I'm cut you off, I'm good. I have to go. How again. the hell did you cut him off? That's disrespectful. I told you there would be lots to talk about and I did not lie. What an amazing episode of Gillette Drafted. Probably my favorite episode so far. Watching it back, I don't know. Harrison and Bruno were so, so close. No, they really, Bianca, really what do you were. think? They're so close. I don't even know how you guys could have chosen between the two of them. They're both so great. They're so comfortable. I don't want your job. Any ever. second thoughts now that you watched it back? No. Of course not. Oh, no I'm just asking. Thoughts. I'm just asking. Um, no, but you know, what you don't see in the episode is how long it took to come to that decision. It was really tough. 1A, 1B situation for sure. I was thinking maybe we should have had a tie. That would defeat the entire purpose, Maddie, so no. <laughs> I just feel bad. I know Bruno would have liked to go into the Hall of Fame Yeah, as we'd well. all like to go in the Hall of Fame. Anyway, anyway, we're going to we're we're discuss in. much more of this on the after show. If you're watching live with us on Friday night, it's sportsnet.ca slash drafted. If not, if you're watching on a repeat, go to drafted.ca anytime.